Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So just a quick look at what's happening outside today here in Manchester, which is in the northwest of the UK. And it's uh, the 14th of March, so a week away from spring. And uh, look at the uh, hailstones that are coming down. So not very spring-like weather and Certainly not a day that I would be going out pottering about in the garden doing any weeding or planting. So let's get back to the video about the beans. Right, so back to the subject which is can I grow yard long beans here in the UK, particularly in the northwest of the UK as you've just seen the type of weather we're having which I think is not just exclusive to Manchester, probably all over the UK but we do get our share of wet weather here so the last time i tried to grow a yard long bean um, was back in 2009 uh, <coughs> excuse me and i did get plants to about a couple of feet in height i had a i had a allotment at the time but no greenhouse or polytunnel and so um, i did plant them outdoors the first week of june and they were unprotected and they really didn't thrive at all. I had at the same time planted broad beans and runner beans and French beans, which happily grew. And, you know, I got tons of um, beans, although I, uh, the, the runner beans were awful. I hated the taste of those. So I'll, I'll never grow those again. But um, the, the French beans were very similar um, in because I have I've eaten these many times and you can buy them in continental grocers and Asian grocers when they're in season. They're very expensive to buy, but um, they're very tasty. So I'd say that the nearest equivalent, um, not in the length, obviously these are grown, um, they're called yard long because they grow incredibly long. Um, so a yard is 36 inches, it's probably even longer than that but in taste and in sort of like the texture so th these are sort of like a very thin narrow uh, bean and I would say the dwarf French beans one that I've grown that I found very similar in taste um, long they're not as long obviously they're about eight or nine inches in length and they, they're very thin and the little tiny bean inside so you, you're growing these for the flesh not for the bean inside unlike broad beans you're growing it um you're growing these to eat the flesh of the outer side so these uh, were not successful growing outside here um so i didn't attempt them for many years and then last year when i went to bangladesh i got a whole load of seeds and these were some that i brought back now the expiry date is due next year and I thought well I better get a crack on and use these seeds because otherwise they're going to be wasted, they're not going to be viable. Bean seeds don't tend to stay viable for very long. Even seeds that I've bought here in the UK, if I've kept them more than a couple of years and tried to sow them, I've not been successful. So these are what the beans look like, very very small, so little tiny little beans and I'll show you compare them to the French beans so I'll just put these down and I'll show you what the French beans are a little bit bigger so I'll put a keep a... so there you've got the yard long and these little white beans here very similar in size and shape look like little capsules you know like pills that you swallow um yeah but don't don't do that <laughs> beans should always be cooked thoroughly um so very similar in size i, I assume that they the, the like that because they grow in a very narrow pod so they're not big bulky 
uh, beans. So I'm going to grow both, uh, attempt to grow. So I've got them soaking, so I've put these in a jam jar and I'm going to soak these for 24 hours. So keep them at room temperature. After 24 hours, I've got my French beans as well in there. And then after 24 hours, I'm going to get some tissue or kitchen towel and put that over the top. And that will soak up all the water in there and then put a lid on. And hopefully these will germinate. Keep them in a warm place, preferably a sunny place as well. Uh, they seem to germinate. Well, beans I found in general, um, like hyacinth beans I've got. Uh, seem to like being on a sunny windowsill where you can get the, um, the the warmth of the sun. I don't tend to put these on a heat mat because the the contact with the the direct heat can be too much, and sometimes you end up cooking the beans, which is not good. You're not going to get any germination that way. So I've got some hyacinth beans here, and these are some hyacinth beans that I've just germinated i've got some more on the go i've got tons of hyacinth beans i'll probably end up giving all these away but so that's that's the uh, way i germinate them lid on warm warmish place not roasting hot don't put them where it's too hot um warm place and bright sunlight and that will uh, hopefully speed up the germination process so just have to see I mean these are tropical uh, beans um, similar to the hyacinth beans hyacinth beans are tropical as well and you do need to grow the I know some people down south have grown these outdoors and maybe some people up here in the north have grown them uh, but you need a very sheltered spot uh, preferably, uh, you know, not exposed to very harsh, cool, uh, you know, um, or frosty uh, pockets of your garden or allotment or whatever. So, but they do better in a greenhouse or polytunnel. So that's the aim really, see if I can get these to grow and I will be putting them in the greenhouse. So if I'm successful in getting them to germinate, then... I will keep them indoors for as long as possible so that they're a decent height. They need to be, I believe, they need to be at least three feet in height before you think of flowering. Um, so you need to get them to a decent, maybe possibly four or five feet before you think of these um, to start um, any kind of flowers forming. I started these a bit late. I just seem to have forgotten those so i'm hoping i'll keep these indoors put them under the grow light I've got my grow light here and hopefully that will enable them to catch up so uh, in about a month's time i may have some news about these so today's march the 14th uh, april the 14th around that date i'll do another video uh, if they haven't germinated or they've gone rotten or or nothing's happened i will still do an update and you know let you the viewers know what's happening and if anybody else is attempting to grow this um, yard long bean uh, for the first time please add your comments in the comment box below um, if you've already grown it here in the uk and you've been successful i'd love to hear um, how you did and you know any any tips for me basically so I would love to be able to grow these uh, yard long beans. So wish me luck. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and like and share with your friends. Thank you for watching everyone. Take care. Bye bye.